Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Pisces, we're taking you to the tarot streets. I got my cameraman out there. Y'all know this is the, the Pisces tarot readings, right? So every day, it's something but Pisces, we're taking it to the streets. I'm going into the neighborhoods, right? I'm sneaking in people's houses and I'm seeing things. I'm seeing what's going on and I'm seeing the things that you can't see, right Pisces? So I'm gonna give it to you. I'm going to give it to you right here, right now. Tell me, Spirit, what Pisces? What's going on in those streets, right? In the tarot streets for my Pisces. What's the energy? We have a Divine Masculine here. Divine Masculine. He came out in reverse. I normally don't take these in reverse, but this particular card came out in reverse. A Divine Masculine just sitting on the streets up against the wall looking all sad. Look, he looks sad. So we have a Divine Masculine energy here, Pisces. What's going on with this Divine Masculine spirit? What is this Divine doing in the street? Oh, oh, there's an emergency scene ahead. The Karmic and the Divine Feminine to meet up. So maybe that's why this person is feeling all sad because they know it's just a matter of time before you meet up with this Karmic or you meet up with their ex or you meet up with whoever this person is. So a divine masculine is nervous that it's, it's it's about time. It's about time, right? Look at this guy's beautiful face. Laying close to head, I can't do this anymore. So someone is saying that they can't do this anymore. Maybe this masculine, this divine masculine here is saying I can't do it anymore because he knows it's just a matter of time before these two women meet up. So he's like, look, I'm just gonna back out of everything, everybody. You know, guys, that's not really true. When people say, I just can't do this anymore, and they're caught between two, what they do is they will end things for both of you and then sneakingly try to get back with both of you, right? And whoever takes the bait gets them. Just so you know. Just so you know, right? That's the game. Because they'll be like, well, I'm just done with both of you, both of you, both of you. And then time will pass, and then he'll start reaching out to both of you again. And then it just keeps going. It's just, Holy Spirit, what's going on? So the masculine is saying he just can't do this anymore. Plot twist in reverse. There's a divorce. So this masculine may be divorcing, I guess, the karmic. It all depends on who's the karmic and who's the divine feminine. You would think that the divine feminine would be the wife, right? So they're divorcing the wife for the side piece? Somebody leaving their wife for the side piece? Real spirit? Is that what we going here? Is that what we going here? Holy Spirit, who is this divine masculine, right? Holy Spirit. So it looks like the divine feminine and the karmic, you're going to meet up eventually. Maybe just be on the phone. I don't know. So now this divine masculine wants to do the right thing. He wants to do the right thing, Knight of Pentacles. Now he just wants to walk away, right? But he's not done. He's not done with somebody. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse. He's dropping his burdens. This, this divine masculine is getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. Because their secrets are coming out. Because when this divine feminine and this karmic meet up, all of the secrets are going to come out. Because if you speak like two women, and instead of trying to be at their throat, that's my man, that's my man, that's my husband. No. That gets you nowhere. If you sit like women, and you talk like women, and you talk about this man, then you can see how he screwed you, and he screwed her. And then she'll learn the same thing. And you will realize that it's not you. It's really the man. Because the man will tell you one thing, tell this person another. Will love on you, love this person the same way. Right? I don't know if y'all watch uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville, but come on, everybody knows, okay, he's obscurely married, they get on TV. I think the fact that they got on TV is where it blew up. But prior to that, he was he cheated on his wife for like seven years, ended up having a baby with this other woman, and then it all came out on TV, right? Had they not been on TV, would they still be together today? Probably, she would be the long-suffering wife, but that's what a lot of women do. A lot of women don't like to get a divorce, especially when you have kids. But the fact that it's on TV, it's like, oh, now, now the world knows. 
but now she divorced the sorry aunt and he's still out there in the streets. They're just still out there. So I don't know guys, but this masculine here is running because they're sick of fucking over here. And they want a new beginning. I don't know if they want a beginning with you. I mean with the the their wife or their divine feminine or their karmic. But they just want new beginnings. It's almost like the whole truth is gonna come tumbling out. And they may have nothing else to do but leave. There may not be anything else left but to leave. Because when you play two people for so long, you might as well just leave. Because you lied to your wife and then you lied to this other person and you're just a liar, right? And no one no one trusts you anymore, right? Yeah. So this person here, the divine masculine, they doing their part. Or trying to. But their stuff is still unbalanced. It's still unbalanced because they still want one of these two. What's the King of Pentacles in reverse? Very unreliable. This person is definitely getting divorced, wants a divorce, dropping their burden. There's the happiness right there. This person can't make anybody happy. The secret is this person isn't happy. That's the biggest secret is they're unhappy with themselves, right? Very toxic in reverse. There's a this person is a they was overindulging. They was overindulging on their divine mass, on their divine feminine, and on the karmic. They was overindulging. It looks like this person's ending up in a divorce. And they they got no regrets. They don't have no regrets. This person's an asshole. Three of Wands is in reverse. This person is a little frustrated, but they're holding all the cards. So they're frustrated, but they know what they're doing. And they're all up in their head. They know what they did. They know all their secrets are coming out. Now they're coming out. I can't believe these two are talking to each other. They're like getting to the bottom of it. Yes, he's told from the floor up. You hear me? So that's why this person is over. They're about to pick up and move on. Because they played their wife and they played this karmic for a little too long. And now they're ending up in a divorce. It's like plot twist, reverse, divorce. The, the, the divine feminine probably filed for divorce because this person played too long. Right? Four wands in reverse. It's over. It's over. Plot twist in reverse. Holy Spirit, what's going to happen when this uh, karmic, this divine, this divine feminine and the karmic meet up? I think y'all going to have a nice cup of coffee and tea and talk about this thing of a person. Yep, y'all are going to be healing when y'all meet up. It's four of swords in reverse healing. Y'all both got to see how this person didn't invest in you too. And now you're waking up. You're not at home anymore on who this person is. Y'all are going to be in agreement. Y'all are going to realize that that person was a page of wands in reverse. They had nothing to offer. They just talked to talk. Half the time, you don't even want to be around this person, right? There was no good news with this person. I think you both found that out. Yeah, and you're both moving on. Look at that. Didn't I just say three minutes back? Rewind. <laughs> Didn't I say that if the two of you can come together and talk as women, because the first thing that happens is, is women be cursing each other out. No. Why are you mad at that woman? It would be different if she knew you was married and she called your house and played on your phone and disrespected you and all. That's different. But if you didn't know he was married and she didn't know it was you, but y'all both felt something and then eventually y'all come across each other's information and you get a chance to talk, wifey, that is your chance to ask all the questions. And then the other person, that is your chance to ask all the questions as well and then apologize and say, you know, I didn't know. I didn't know he was married. That's what you do. That's what you do. You apologize. You didn't know that this person was married. Like, had I known, you know what I mean? Had I known. It's different if you know, then that's disrespectful and they can, they can clock you, right? Yeah. <laughs> but if you didn't get apologized, be like, look, I didn't know. Bow out gracefully and wish her good luck. Because this man here is losing them both. Losing them both. So go ahead and have that conversation. Plot twist. I bet you this man didn't see this one coming. Yeah, look at y'all standing in your strength. I love it. I love it. And the fact that y'all going to come together and stand in your strength, you're going to leave that man up in his head. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
this man here may be thinking, oh, he's losing his lover, and he thought one was his emotional fulfillment. He's going to lose them both. He's going to lose them both. Ooh, I love this. Queen of Cups, you are a loving person, and then there's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's over. Four of Cups is in reverse. The Tower is in reverse. Two of Cups is in reverse. He's being left, and then there's your victory and your get out of jail free card for both of you, for the wife and for the other person. And for the other person, I don't even think you're a karmic. I don't think you're a karmic. I think you got caught up with the love of a man who probably lied to you to the freaking eons, lied to their wife to the freaking eons, and now the fact that you two are going to meet up. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. I would love to be a fly on that wall. Oh my God. Anywhere. Just place me anywhere. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. It must be about it, it must be about leaving on the night, guys. I don't know. Let's just see what else is coming up on this channel. Peace.